Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now we're going to continue with our pit run this week. So yeah, let's check it out. Currently we're on this boss here, Obin the Zealous. Let's take a look at his skills. Whenever an ally attacks, stealing it triggers, it will deal damage to a random enemy. Every third turn will give extra attack to allies with attack stealing. And then on the fifth turn, we'll summon Sentinel's Kurt. Okay, to the first row. Okay, a couple things. Looks like they will have an attack steal skill, which means that we will lose attack whenever our heroes uh, get attacked. And when that happens, it will deal damage to one of our heroes. So we want to make sure we have heroes with high health, high attack, and then also potentially either have mental shield for protection or immunity to avoid the attack stealing. Every third turn, we're going to see extra attack given to allies with attack stealing. So we want to make sure that we clear out heroes with attack steal, so that way they don't get the extra attack on the third turn. And then finally, on the fifth turn, they will summon the Sentinels Kurt. We'll find out what those do, and we'll have to probably get rid of them, because it looks like they are kind of kind of big and kind of strong. So yeah, so let us... I'm not quite sure if I have everything set. We do. Okay, all right, great. So in that case, yeah, let us head right in. Okay, and we already have some heroes that are destroyed randomly. That was kind of weird. Anyways, <clears throat> let's take a look at the buildings. Okay, we have a building there that cleanses allies. Two buildings that cleanses allies, so that's actually going to help us out a lot. We do have two heroes over here that do attack steal, and then we also have negative attack over here. Um, I want to do a combination of two things. I want to clear out both the attack steal hero and then also protect one of these purification abodes. So we'll summon this melee hero on B3. <laughs> Okay, looks like we have another hero over here at the, let's see, when he dies, he will, uh, well, when he kills something, he actually gets an attack boost and then also has some attack steal, so we do want to clear those out. Uh, let's see, we'll go with this range hero next over here on D3, just to clear out the attack steal hero. Okay, we have this druid, which has attack steal, got it. Uh, we'll go with this damage skill to actually wipe up both of these heroes, and then we'll summon this melee hero over here on A2, just to get rid of it. Okay, we got this common course, has some attack steal from enemies in the line. We don't want to block our melee spots because we want to summon our soul binder, so we'll just go with this melee hero over here on D2. Okay, we got this mantis here with some attack steal and some poison. We'll go with this melee here over here on C, uh, C2, although we could have protected the purification abode. Okay, in this case, all of our purification abodes are now gone because we didn't protect, but that is okay. Let's see, we have some more Sentinel Kurtz. These are attack steel heroes. We'll go with our soul binders now. And then we'll go with this range hero over here on A1. We're triggering off, <clears throat> we're triggering off the soul binders that deal random damage. Okay, in this case, we'll continue. We'll go with another... We'll go with actually this melee hero over here on C3. We do get in the way of our own melee hero over here on C2, but I do want to keep more ranged spots open so that way we can trigger off the soul binders. Okay, in this case, we got this Corrupterin with some attack steal. Currently, we are out of commons, as you can see over here. So in this case, we can start using our shuffles for ranged heroes. Okay, uh, nothing here. And we do have heroes over here. This is good. We'll go with this. Yeah, we'll go with this weaker hero over here on D1. Okay, another druid attack steal. We'll go with this range hero over here on the attack rune on D1. Okay, and we will actually summon this melee hero with the low health but the high attack just to get rid of it out of our squad. And there we go. So that was Obin the Zealous. All right, we're on this next boss here, Little Minx Selena. Let's take a look at her skills. So whenever an ally attacks, it will curse a random enemy. Every third turn, we'll curse the enemy warlord. And then on the seventh turn, we'll kill cursed enemies. Okay, a couple things. Looks like their heroes are going to have curse. And what happens with curse is that, as you can see here, a cursed hero takes damage when their allies are attacked. So we want to make sure we have something to get rid of the curse or make sure we protect our heroes so that way even when they take damage they'll still be around. On the third turn they will curse our warlord which means that when our heroes are attacked we will actually take extra damage. So we want to make sure that we can deal as much damage as we can because we're eventually going to get overwhelmed by this. 
And then on the seventh turn, we're going to have our cursed enemies killed, or our we are the cursed enemies. So in that case, all of our heroes that have curse will be destroyed. So we want to make sure that we protect them with either mental shield or remove the curse if we can. Okay, so yeah, let's hop right in. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. Okay, and I do see a purification abode. We do want to protect that because it will cleanse and then also get rid of our negative effects. In this case, we don't have any melee heroes except for this legendary one, which I don't want to use quite yet. But uh, I guess it'd be okay. Yeah, sure, why not? We, uh, yeah, sure, why not? At least we don't have to use the shuffle right now. And this prince here has some decent health, also has some archers. Okay, we got this wood spirit with... Okay, it looks like there is some sort of bonus happening to some certain heroes. Okay, let's see. We'll go with this range hero over here on A1 behind the building. Okay, it looks like a purification boat is gone because of the curse, so no more cleanse there. We have this Morlock giving evasion to a random ally except flying heroes. Hmm... We're taking a little bit of damage, but I think it'll be okay. We'll go with this range hero over here on uh, E2. Okay, and looks like we're getting an attack boost for every ally is blocked, so that's good. Okay, we got this evil's helper transforming one of our heroes into a box. It also gets an attack boost as well. We'll do our damage skill in order to wipe out both of these heroes, and then we'll also go with a range hero behind the prince here. Okay, we kind of want our melee spots to be open, but we can't because of the squires coming out. That is all right. Let's see, so this will be destroyed in combat. We'll go with another range hero over... Yeah, we'll go with the range hero over here on D1, just to spread out our damage. Yeah. At this point, we have all the lanes protected, and we do have these range heroes to attack. We're going to keep summoning melee heroes just to get rid of them out of our squad, especially the weaker heroes. We have this, whoop, not the paling over here, but the bone wear with some attack steel. <laughs> oh, and there you go. So that was Little Minx Selena. All right, well, we will have to wait until later to get to the next boss. And so we will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.